Now, guys, this is definitely hotness overload. I think I need to get my shades on. Hey! <laughs> you guys you guys so i mean this video is just going to be dedicated dedicated to um the top 10 favorite hottest bb and zanzi housemates that grease the um, big brother zanzi season three you guys are just going to be giving you gist i'm going to, we're just going to be doing a keeping up with the big brother and zanzi season three housemates and guys i'm going to be talking about all your favorites um the only people I'm not going to talk about in this video are the people that are not giving us any content. The driest um, housemates, I'm definitely not going to even utter a word when it comes to their name. So you're going to pardon me. But you guys, thank you for stopping by. This is another video. <laughs> this is another episode of Personality Highlights. In here, we talk about reality shows. Um, and of course, real-time stories. If you're a fan of social issues, trending topics. And of course, talking about things that you know concerns personal growth and all that do consider subscribing by clicking on the red subscribe button right now to be a part of this community and guys do not forget to turn on the post notification bell as this will always help you get a lot of my video every time i share new content guys please click on that subscribe button because we have a target in this community now guys i'm going to be keeping you up um with the things that are happening i mean you guys one of the craziest things that is happening right now is that some of the housemates are crying out loud um at the things that are being thrown at them a lot of shades have been thrown at people like terry people have been reporting her page saying you know she's posting adult content they don't like her content and i'm like the things you don't like or follow and this is the problem i think we as africans we have i mean can't we just see things that we don't like and just close our eyes and walk away must we talk so this is a video of terry actually complaining about not being able to be herself on her social media because people keep reporting her account see, like if you don't like what i post please just unfollow me there's no need for this whole reporting thing because i'm not breaking any rules Please. So I don't know what it is, but hey, please, can we just stop this already and let these guys leave? Like, you guys know that the Big Brother and Zanzi was a big show, but at the, at the same time, these guys have to go back to their real hustle. I mean, Terry is not the only person who's crying out loud, saying, you know what, I want you guys to let me hustle well. Um, I mean, I actually had to sneak up on uh, Sister Mara, and hey, people have been, you know, like, bashing Sister Mara seriously over the fact that her videos are not clear, her pictures are not clear. And you know what Sister Mara has to say to you all? Take a look. <laughs> mm. So guys, Sister Mara is just saying, hey, I don't have an iPhone 13 Pro Max. So if you can afford it, please donate. She needs a phone. Yeah, I think Libo got the phone. I mean, so touchy, so sweet of the fans so yeah sister mara is actually begging you fans i mean everybody was saying sister mara you did the most you made us like you gave us the hype you you were the life of the party you guys she's crying right now so if you're a fan of sister mara maybe you should just heed to that call um guys anyways away from that just a little highlights on some of your faves and i'll be back ah uh, which card did you want i nah you guys have done enough now, Libo just broke a stereotype. Guy just rejected an offer for a car gifting. Hey! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ten, ten for a reality show. Definitely, reality show coming. Conversation. It's been a long ten weeks. Made it to the top five. Yeah. Uh, this is my mom, guys. Say hi, mom. Hi, Kesha. Hi, everyone. Love you guys. Thank you so much. What can I say? Team, uh, what's happening, the dog? Yeah, I'm good, brother. Yourself? Ooh, ooh, I know. Yo, 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 what are you doing? Yes, sir. I'm not saying shit like a Sunday in the April. Tell these honeys, man. 
Okay, guys, with the things that has been happening to Terry, um, there's been rumor that it looks like Terry and Vino are no more, like their relationship is broken. There's been so many reports. A lot of South African reporters have complained about how this ship sunk so fast. I mean, I don't know, but if you live in South Africa, I've been hearing this rumor. Can you let us know what you think, what's going on? But there is rumor that Vino and Terry is no more. I don't know if this is really true, but I'm just putting it out there. So I feel that maybe the people who have been reporting Terry page is probably the vinyl shippers uh, vinyl and terry shippers or maybe vi vinyls fans or people who just don't like terry i don't know but hey that's just <laughs> the situation there um so the terry and the vinyl thing i don't think it's working out well um guys also there's also this relationship um between um bu and venice you guys know they've been going back and forth guys let us take let me take you guys back to the the question lawrence asked bu while they were in the grand finale <laughs> guys listen up. of course in a relationship uh good tricky all right so all right now all guys right. from that what um bm the way b responded to that question is as if we are back to the same old story <laughs> i don't know but i'm not gonna say anything about that you guys let me know what your thoughts are but hey let's talk about the ship that is still moving and hey tato and gashwan has something to tell you guys tashwan shippers who are looking out for their content gashes um i just got a delivery yes and i say and gashes let's start here so gash is not in this hotel that we're in obviously he was top five and you know you need to debrief you need to see a psychologist and so forth and so forth so i'm not with him i'm in a different hotel but when i see him we'll open this together thank you so 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 much you might have not won the 2m but you won the cashers and that's close enough that was me if people want to know whether we're going to ghost them or whether we're going to be private tell them the bad news we're gonna see what we do. We're gonna but be private. We're gonna be seeing us more and more together if we're working. So book us. So now you know Tash ones. <laughs> Tash ones. <laughs> They are going to, according to Tato, they are going to be private, but I'm, I'm very sure they're going to be publicly private. <laughs> they are still going to be together. I mean, hearing them say that they're going to be together, I mean, hearing Tato chipping that we're going to be together means that, hey, we're going to see a lot of shipping. I don't know, but I think I really like the fact that this ship is one ship that loves that a fan base has been, you know, programmed for them, and they are really cashing out. Tato has also been sharing her details on her Instagram, I'm like, guys, I mean, these guys really need to see how they can leverage on what's up in Biggie's house. So, guys, if we were to list out who the hottest um, big brother Zanzi housemate is, who do you think <laughs> was the hottest female um, in the big brother Zanzi? And who do you think was the hottest male um, big brother Zanzi? I mean, irrespective of how they left the house, just tell me what you think in the comment section. But so, guys, the 10 hottest um, BB zanzi housemates i don't know but for me i'm just going to mention these two people if you disagree let me know i think the hottest female that came into the big brother and zanzi show season three is akasia i'm not gonna lie she's the hottest for, in the standard not for me i'm still gonna tell you who my favorite is and for the guys i would say be you it's clearly one of the hottest guys i mean if you disagree let me know your thoughts but i'm still gonna tell you about who my own favorite um hottest <laughs> female and male housemates are and so i mean guys back to listing out the 10 hottest housemates that grizzly big brother and Zanzi season three guys libo was my hottest guy in that house i'm not even going to lie if you think it's a lie tell me who yours is because when i saw you um libo's family i'm like you know what i want to go for his younger brother i mean that guy looks like his younger brother doesn't he <laughs> i don't know man for but for me i think libo was the hottest guy that came into the big brother and zanzi so for me the five hottest guys i'm gonna say bu i'm gonna say gastron i'm gonna say themba i'm gonna say libo and the last guy <sighs> who's that who's that gonna be who's that who's that gonna be i think Zeno was hot I think you know what's hot. <laughs> so, guys, I mean, I don't know, but if you agree with me, let me know. For the ladies, who is the five hottest babes in the house? Hey, I'm going to tell you my number one. I'm going to tell you. You guys will be surprised who my number one is. Um, So, we have hot girls like Terry. We had hot girls like Bo. We had hot girls like Acacia. Mm, maybe it's hot. Nale. Yes, guys. And, guys, one of the hottest girls that came into that house, Big Brother and Zanzi, I'm not going to lie, um, there's a fight between Ntabi and Venice, and if I would go for any of these two, <sighs> 
for some obvious reason, I'd like to go for Venus, but eh, I don't know. There's just this African, there's just this personality vibe I see so much in Tabby that would just make me go with in Tabby. So for me, I think in Tabby was the hottest girl who came into the Big Brother Zanzi show. <sighs> Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm not talking about the body looks, I'm talking about everything all in one. Tell me who your favorites were. I'm Big Brother and Zanzi, South Africans. You guys really showed us another level of this media thing, journalism digging deep and all that i mean how did you guys fish out big brother so far so you guys apparently um the voice behind the big brother show has just been unveiled and i'm gonna be giving you a sneak peek to that right now listen up guys and i'll be back content director and voice artist in the south african tv industry i'm looking forward to joining my colleague and friend over many years Hamida omar as we bring you the mega media masterclass for the beginners class I'm looking forward to not only sharing my skills, but those of friends. My name is... So guys, the big question, did that sound like Big Brother? Like, did that sound like Big Brother? If it doesn't sound to you like Big Brother, it does sound to me. So, South Africans kind of fished out Big Brother. Hey, and I'm like, now wow! I doff my head for you guys. You guys, you guys, this is something we could not do in Nigeria. And you guys did it in like, in less than 48 hours after the Big Brother and Zazi show was over. I respect you all. <laughs> so guys, one of the questions I have for you is if you know who this face is, please tell us his name in the comment section. I'm not South African, but I know I'm just here to share the news, the good news to you. Uh, let me know if you know this face, if it's a popular face you think you know, tell us the name in the comment section so that we can also learn from you. You guys, basically, I think this is just it, catching up with your faves. I'm going to see you all in another video for now. Thank you so much for your watch time.